Hey guys, this is Isaac at Terramind. Today, we're going to show you how easy it is to set up Terramind on-premise on Hyper-V. Terramind makes installation super easy by providing a server in the form of an all-inclusive virtual machine. A single server can handle up to at least 1,000 concurrent endpoints and it can be easily horizontally scaled. You'll need three resources from us to get started. The VHD image, the agent, and the license key. All these can be obtained from the on-premise portal, which you can get to from our website. You'll also need an available IP on your network to assign to the server, as well as a Windows machine equipped with Hyper-V. Let's get started. First, we'll launch Hyper-V and create a new virtual machine. We can leave the defaults for most of these settings, but we may want to increase memory to at least about 4 GB. We'll also select which network we want the VM to be connected to. We'll want to use an existing virtual hard disk with this virtual machine. This is the Terramind VHD image that you downloaded. Once the import is complete, we'll edit the VM settings and add a second storage volume. This volume will hold the screen recordings. You can start with a small volume of around 16 gigabytes and expand as necessary. It's also possible to use external storage such as NFS, but we'll keep it simple for this tutorial. We'll save these settings and proceed to boot up the Terramind server virtual machine. Once it's running, we launch a console window for the initial setup, which is just to give it an IP address. We can log in using setup as both the username and password. Here we can assign the server an available IP address on our network. Since this is a single server deployment, we're going to leave the default role setting. At this point, we're done with Hyper-V, and we can go on to access our Terramind server from a browser. The server can be accessed by specifying the IP address we assigned to it as the URL. The browser will probably complain about an invalid SSL certificate. That's perfectly normal, and you'll be able to upload your own certificates from within the dashboard. For now though, we can proceed to the site despite the warning. We'll use the default login of admin at example.com and the default password of password, all lowercase. 
Once you're in your dashboard, the first thing that should be done is to set the license key. Click on the gear on the top right and then settings. Go over to the license tab and enter the key that was given to you in the on-premise portal. At this point, your server is ready to go and accept connections from your agents. Let's go ahead and set up an agent just to make sure it works. We'll use this Windows 7 VM as our endpoint. We've already placed appropriate agent MSI onto this computer. Installing the agent is easy. There are a few ways to install the agent. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to install via the command line using MSI exec. First, open a command prompt as administrator. Navigate over to the folder where you put the Terramind MSI agent. Run the MSI exec command specifying the IP address of the server as shown. As you can see, installation is silent. Let's go back to the dashboard to see if it worked. The agent we installed immediately appears on the dashboard and the server starts to record data for this endpoint. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or would like to set up a time for us to deploy the VM for you, please contact us.